We're going to check first for hardware problems and then second for software problems because this particular issue can be either or. So if you find this video in any way helpful, please like and share. So first, get into your laptop, open it up. Uh, you might need to get a disassembly video for your specific Dell model. And we're going to try a big common cause for this problem is that your connections on either your RAM or your hard drive are no longer good. So get to your RAM or hard drive, get inside your and you're going to make sure it's nice and snug your RAM. As you can see, I'm really pushing it in there, but not too hard. And also, just as a side note, my battery and my power cord are unplugged. So, And I'm just doing what's called reseating it, which just means taking it out and putting it back in. Because sometimes your RAM or your hard drive can come a little loose. Or maybe there's some dirt in the connection. Uh, and you just need to pull it out and push it back in. So it's really that simple. So that's what we're going to do with the hard drive as well. It would be the same thing if you have a solid state drive. So I'm just going to pull it out. Usually easier than this. It's giving me a little bit of trouble. There we go. And now I'm just going to reseat it or plug it back in. Now, once I've done this, I'm going to put the screws back and I'm going to see if that fixes the problem. Because like I said, uh, it, it's very common to just be a connection issue for this. But if it's not, like I said, we're showing you the dull way of troubleshooting this, so I'll continue on to the next step if, uh, if this uh, doesn't do it. So, put all my screws back on my hard drive. And then I'm going to go ahead and try turning back on my machine. If I still get that nasty blue screen error, well, then we're going to move on to the next step. If you don't get it, well, then you know that was the issue. But the next step is sometimes your RAM goes bad. So the solution for this is we're going to take out one RAM stick at a time. Try turning back on your computer. And if you still get the blue screen error, not a big deal. We're going to try the other RAM stick because RAM is kind of like headlights on your car. One tends to go bad. And, but not necessarily the other one. So we're going to try seeing if one of these taking out one of these RAM sticks uh, resolves the issue. If you do find that you take out one of the RAM sticks, you go ahead and turn your computer back on, and then bam, the blue screen error is gone. Then you know that you had a bad RAM stick in. Whichever one was taken out is the one that's causing the problem. So this is what a RAM stick looks like. So if you find you take it out, the issue is resolved. You're going to need to look for this number, PC42400T or something close to this sounding, and then you need to replace that RAM stick. Okay, so you tried all these things, it didn't work, Liz. Okay, not a big deal, we're gonna move on to the next thing and we're gonna try testing your hard drive to see if that's a problem. Dells have built-in diagnostic software. You hit your power button and start tapping on F12 to access it, because this could be a hardware or a software problem, so we're gonna test for both. Okay, so now select diagnostics and let it start testing your components. Okay, and you're going to select yes. Now, if you find your hard drive or RAM fail, you're going to need to replace those because uh, that could be the cause of your problem. For example, you can see my battery is close to dying and it just warned me about it. Uh, we have a video down below in the description on how to replace your hard drive if you find that's the cause of your problem. Okay, so as you can see, my uh, all my components passed. So the next thing I'm going to need to try is go from a software standpoint. I'm going to need to hit power. And I'm going to, once the Dell screen starts, I'm going to hold down shift. And then I'm going to hit my power button until it completely turns off. Because right now we're going to access another feature of your Dell, your recovery manager. Okay, once my computer is still off, I'm holding down shift still. As you can see, I hit the power button again. We're going to access that recovery manager. Because we've addressed the hardware issue and it doesn't seem to be the problem unless it was a problem, you say something failed and now you have to replace it. But if you've tried those options and it's not the hardware, well, then it's probably the software because like I said, this error can be either a software or a hardware issue. Okay, so I've entered recovery manner. I'm going to select C, advanced option, repair options. Okay, now that I'm here, I'm going to go down to troubleshoot because we're going to have to reset this PC. Now you have two options. And we're going to do the remove everything option. The soft reset you can try, but a lot of times it just doesn't do it. Uh, I know it's sad to lose all your information, but we're trying to save it. We're trying to save a computer here, and sometimes it's the tough choices, that, the tough repairs that are the ones that get it done. 
Now, if you find you can't access the recovery manager, that could be because your Windows is too corrupt. Or if you find the reset fails, it could also be because Windows is too corrupt. That's what's causing the error. All right, now that we're on the screen, fully clean the drive. If that is the case, we have a video down below on how to reinstall Windows. Uh, so that would be your next option after this. So try resetting it, fully clean the drive. I'm not gonna select it because this computer's fully working. But hit enter, reset the com computer. If that doesn't work, move on to the installation uh, option. But that is how I would troubleshoot this error on a Dell computer. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions at all or you think of a great video to like to see from us, go ahead and leave your comments and messages down below and one of our certified technicians will get back to you. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.